Hi guys, welcome back to the Bottom Family Channel. So today I'm a happy bunny because I am finally unboxing, and I say finally because it's been sat waiting for a few weeks now, because I just haven't got around to it. So today I'm finally unboxing something from one of my favourite companies, if not my favourite, um, Lush Cosmetics. We have a small haul. I ordered online, it came a few weeks ago, and I just haven't unboxed it yet. And I thought I would share it with you, see what you all think. Let's see if there's anything in there that interests any of you guys. So I'm going to unbox it and show you what everything is. And... Yeah. So the total cost of this haul was £44.75. Now I can't remember whether the invoice inside this box will be telling me how much each individual item has cost me. If it hasn't, I will try and remember to list it in the description box below for you all so you have a bit of an idea. If not, I will leave you the link to the online website so you can go and check out the items yourselves, guys. So let's get into the box. So I'll open the box and show you one item at a time. And yeah, let's get into it. Right, so the products inside have been packed in with packing peanuts. They are biodegradable. You put them in your sink or your bath and once you pour water over them they dissolve uh, i think they're made from potato starch but at the end of the video i'm gonna put mine in my bath and show you just how cool it is um, that's one of our favorite parts of unboxing from lush so i've opened my box and as you can see, there's some packing peanuts, but on top there's a couple of bits of paper. The first one looks like it's my invoice. The one underneath, I'm not sure what it is. So we're gonna look through them and then I'll show you a bit of a better picture of the packing peanuts. So the first piece of paper is actually my invoice. So this shows you how much everything is. So I'll be able to tell you how much each individual item is, which is a bonus because I've just said I wasn't sure if I'd be able to do that. And the next piece of paper is a printout of the products, if you can see some of the products and a little bit about them. Right, so I've just been filming a demonstration video for a Lush Cosmetics bath bomb and tried to explain a little bit about the naked products. So I'm gonna do that in this video because one of the items in here, which is actually new, I'm excited, uh, it's one of their new naked products. Now this campaign has been going for a while, but basically Lush Cosmetics are trying to sway people to ditch the plastic. Um, so they're making products that don't actually have packaging. They're making the products solid. So they'll be selling things like shower gel, which is a solid shower gel in the shape of a bottle. I've had shampoo and conditioner in exactly the same format. They've done um, body conditioners in the shape of the pot. It's just brilliant. It's a great idea. However, I will stress, guys, um, the products aren't exactly the same. Because the format is different, They the product, it varies a bit. So just putting that out there for you. But this bit of paper does actually tell you a little bit about naked products. So I'm going to read that to you before we get into the box. So it says packaging is rubbish. That's why our solid products are shipped to you fresh, naked and ready to go. Here you can find the ingredient lists and how to use information. On our website there are videos of our products being used and if in doubt get in touch. So if you're unsure on how to use your naked products get in contact with them and they'll let you know and they'll help you as best they can. I know from previous experience Lush Cosmetics customer care was brilliant so... Uh, it says our products are made just days before they're sent to you and are best used fresh. Why fresh matters? Visit uk.lush.com forward slash article forward slash freshness dash policy. So they like you to buy little and often. They don't like you to bulk buy because they um, make all their products with fresh products. So obviously if you use them soon after you've purchased them, then you get the best from them and they're 
more amazing if it can be more amazing because we all love Lush don't we so yeah if you've never had a parcel from Lush before these are said packing peanuts okay and like I say when water is poured over these they do actually dissolve so you don't get left with lots of um, peanuts to put in your bin you don't have all these extra um, things to put in your bin so I'm just going to move some of them off the top of the box and wow getting there slowly <laughs> I can see a few products now so we're just gonna keep going for a minute oh this looks fun. Fun, fun fun I'm so excited Oh guys, this is amazing. Right, so now I've taken some packing peanuts off the top. This is how it looks. So, and it smells, this box smells stunning. Right, so I'm gonna take this product out first. Okay. Oh, right, so this is actually shaped like a paintbrush if you hadn't already guessed. And look at the color of that one, guys. So the stick in it is very strong. Now I've had bubble bars on sticks before and they weren't sturdy enough. It looks like they switched things up so I'm very impressed Lush. Um, I love the stick in this one. It's much better. So what does this leaflet say about this product? Um, this is the mint bubble brush which I you can tell is a very strong mint scent. They're mint products are amazing for the summer they're very refreshing so i would highly recommend so bubble bars are products that you put under running water and it gives you a bubble bath you do not need to use the full thing you just hold this under running water until you've got the desired amount of bubbles pull it out and use it next time so you will get several uses this is a multi-use product okay um <laughs> so Take your brush and hold under running water to get the bubbles going. When the bath is covered in a blanket of bubbles, your canvas awaits. Dip the brush into the water before gliding it over the foam. Dip and flick, stroke and splash, then sit back and relax as you admire your masterpiece. It might be abstract, it might be modern, it might be a load of pollocks, but whatever but. it is. Whatever it is, it's bound to make a good impression. Now that does actually read pollocks before you question me, guys. Um, yeah. So that's the first item in my box. So the next item, guys, oh yay, this is gorgeous colour, is another paintbrush. Look at the colour of this one. Oh. Oh, that smells so good. Wow, okay guys, so this is a very gorgeous, vibrant, flamingo pink sort of colour. Once again, I love the stick. This does smell very similar to another bubble bar that they um, sell, so I'd imagine it's from the same scent family. Um, and on this piece of paper it says, take your brush and hold under running water to get the bubbles going. When the bath is covered in a blanket of bubbles, your canvas awaits. Dip the brush into the water before glizing. Okay, so the description for this is exactly the same as the other paintbrush, so I won't continue to read the rest of that one. So, yeah, they're brilliant. And the next item, guys, is this. I'm just going to give it a bit of a shake because it looks like it's a bit separated. Right, okay. So this is the next product. Now, this is something that is new. I was very excited about it because I loved something else in the same scent group from before. And when I was purchasing back last year, I was desperate for them to make it in this format. And they finally did it. And I'm so pleased. So I couldn't wait to buy this. Yeah, so they do a bar of soap called Sultana of Skin. And it's absolutely incredible. It's a bar of soap that I really, really love. Um, I've always liked the scent of that one. So I was really hoping to see a shower gel brought out. And they've done it. 
I'm gonna have a smell. Oh wow. They did actually have a bath bomb which was discontinued last year called the Blackberry bath bomb. It was a purple one. It was actually their original first ever bath bomb and it got discontinued last year which was super super sad so it's really nice to see that they brought out another product from that scent family it has um, all products like this have a best before date on them and it's the 25th of August next year so that's good so this is a self-preserving one and it's suitable for vegans so for any of you that may already know the brand and this scent group um if you was wondering it is actually suitable for vegans it says it down there it's one of their self-preserving ones um and on the front i'm going to read you the description i love the descriptions on lush's products so it says like a warm hug from a loved one at the end of the day let the grounding comfort of olibanum put the world to rights as reassuring bergamot wraps around you and the ingredients include apricot infusion, currant infusion, cranberry infusion, olibanum oil, bergamot oil, carrageenan extract and lactic acid. That's just some of the uh, ingredients in this product. So I am in love with this. I can't wait to use this one, guys. Um, their shower gels are incredible. They're that's all I ever use. I, I use um, Lush shower gels. I very rarely take to something else unless it's something like a Zoella product. product. Um, me and the girls absolutely love Zoella as well as Lush. Now the next item is something I think maybe you guys would be very intrigued about. Perhaps might want to see me do a review of this on its own. If you do, don't hesitate in letting me know in the comments section. So it comes in a box like this. I wasn't sure how they were going to send this one. And you can see the Lush logo on the front there. And it's a bit like a matchbox. So you pull this bit out. And yes, you may have guessed. This is their new Naked foundation now one thing i have learned is that you can't physically buy these in store and they're limited edition now whether that means that they're trialing it and they may then suddenly change their minds and it'll become a regular line or not i don't know um if not it's a bit sad that people are going to purchase this struggle to find the right shade once they do it's going to be gone um, people are struggling to find shades that match their skin very well and obviously people are unsure about it because it's solid so I decided to get it and give it a go now one thing you can see looking at the box already is look at the oil stains around that so one would wonder if anyone with oily skin might not get on with it which would be a problem to me but that's what it looks like so it looks like an egg. Obviously, the other side of it is flat. Otherwise, it wouldn't be sat in this box. Oh, now I can feel it melting in my hand as fast as I pick it out. So this bit down here is different. Um, I think it's going to get quite messy, but I picked it up by the top bit a little bit and it felt like it was melting in my hand slightly. So that's not good. So let me see if I can, let me just, right, so I've put a bit on my hand there. I'm just going to rub it. It's there. Right, okay, I think I might have been one of the lucky people that's managed to pick the right shade. Um, and I've picked Slapstick 3W, I think that's, 3w maybe is the shade number um light so what's inside it candelilla wax sunflower wax oat kernel oil orange peel wax rose wax argan oil okay so it's made of lots of wax and oil okay so yeah like i say i'm not sure how well this is going to work on people with oily skin which would then include me but we can only give it a go. Yep, so that's how that looks. 
so like I say if you'd like to see me reviewing this and trying it on then please let me know right so the last item in the box is this little purple lush bag now there is a little description box when you are making your order with lush cosmetics you can actually request certain products to um, try out um, and they will send you samples so perhaps i put a little request in there um right okay so we have um some red fun now fun is a multi-purpose product you can use this to wash yourself with you can use this to make a bubble bath with holding it under the tap you can mold it and make like play-doh you children can play with it um before they wash themselves this is really aimed at children so it's a, a fun um product it is ultimately a soap type product that you can use to wash your children's hair or their bodies or let them play with in the bath or run their bath with and you can also use small amounts of this chopped i mean i use it chopped up but you can actually use this to wash your clothes in so if you find a scent that you really really love um, obviously be careful the amount you use but i have actually used this in the washing machine and then we have a blue one then we have a purple one and then last of all what's this piece down here Ah, now this is, it's got no label. Usually pieces like this will have a black label telling you what it is. Now this is a piece of Fresh Pharmacy Facial Soap. This this is a really good um, soothing facial soap. So yeah, and I think it calms redness, this one. So yeah, so thank you Lush for the um, lovely little extras that you put in with my order right so that was the end of my lush cosmetics online haul thank you all for watching i will insert a video of me um, disposing of the packing peanuts in the water just so you can see how it works thank you for watching and i'll see you all again soon take care guys bye